professionals because the, this looks so much better. <laughs> so it's, it works both ways, you know. Um, but it's, it's all, you know, part of the fun. Um, and one of the things I learned about the business part of it is that I thought about one of the things you learn about business is that what kind of people do you like to work with, you know? Like, do you like people who are courteous and supportive and are easy to deal with? Then those are good things to have so that, um, you know, those are things, to, are really good things to have because editors love it when, you, when you're easy to get along with and you're on time and they don't have to talk you off the ledge to get some artwork from you. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, they appreciate that part and um, they know they can count on you. And the deadline, I mean, children's books, I mean, in, in educational side of the publishing side, the um, deadlines can be two, three weeks turnaround time for stuff, sometimes six weeks for a book, <laughs> which is crazy, crazy, uh, which means you don't sleep. Well, I, <laughs> I, because I'll say, yeah, I can do that, you know, and then I don't sleep for, you know, the entire time. Um, other projects where um, it takes two years, you know, and I would say the average is six months to two years it takes. So, which means that, you know, six months, if it's a six month project, then it might take three months to get the roughs. You send them the roughs. They look at the roughs. They approve the roughs. roughs and then it takes, then they issue, you know, they're going to pay you a part of your advance. So they send that over to accounting. Accounting holds it, takes 30 days to pay it, right? So you're, you're talking months and months and months, you know, before it stretched out to years, but, you know, you got to kind of live. So you can handle five or six jobs in the middle of that because they're all, you know, they're, this one's getting rough. So while you're waiting for that to get paid, you're doing, you know, another, you're doing a storyboard for somebody else, you know, you just got to keep it all straight. That's the, that's the fun part. <laughs> and, um, and I don't know uh, about you guys, but I do thousands of drawings and sketches and I do pretty much everything on tracing paper now because it's just fast and easy instead of buying pot paper you know I save the good paper for the final stuff but everything else is and even sketches I mean I can do a good sketch scan it and then you know almost be good to go you know um, so I've got thousands of pieces of tracing paper in my house thousands and the kitty loves to chew on it <laughs> just terrible but um um, the, the, the thing about that is that um, it's just easy and fast and then you got to figure out how to organize it so you can keep track of all of it because even though like I said you, you did all this work on these sketches and they threw it all out because it's not working and they totally changed the chapter because the writer decided to change something a lot of times that's what happens a lot of times you get a job I've had jobs where the manuscript wasn't done you know but I'm illustrating it so all right okay that's good <laughs> And you're still waiting for revisions to come in. And um, then you find out that there's too much text. It's not going to fit. There's no room for artwork. You know, all, all kinds of, everything you can imagine will happen. So you got to be able to roll with all that stuff. Um, and I can't remember the point of the story was. <laughs> um, I guess the thing is keeping track of all of it. You know, keeping track where you are with everything and having a good system. So um, I started using these giant, you know, these giant, I don't know if you can see it. You guys cheap, and then I get these little tags like this listing what's in there, and I have hundreds of them, hundreds of them, and I hang them, I hang them like this on coat hangers in my, and I have a room with the double layers of hanging portfolios to keep track of all this there and chew up all the artwork. But I save all my sketches, and I save all original artwork, of course, if they have original artwork. A lot of times it's digital now. Um, but if you if you're doing original artwork, you want to make sure you get it back. Don't let them keep it. Make try make sure you're in your contract. They give it, send it back to you because then you can do limited edition prints. Um, you can do shows with your work. Um, all kinds of stuff. People I've had um, people want to spend quite a bit of money to have an original from a book that they um, for some reason it was it was it changed something in their life so they want original copy right or and also the if, if you if it's the author wants pictures wants to have copies too right <laughs> so um and then i'm i i have them all to will to my grandchildren too in the future <laughs> so they're, they're gonna inherit thousands of drawings with teeth marks <laughs> <laughs> and also, i don't know if, i don't know about you guys about uh, if you guys talk about copyright and all that kind of stuff in classes you probably do um, when you're working on your work, 
I do is that I keep every, like I said, I keep, every, I keep, I have notebooks for every project. I keep all my, if I'm going to use, you know, you're using reference, I keep copies of all the reference I'm using. I have all my sketches. So I have documented everything right there because if you're, if you're in business long enough, you know, people like, you know, people aren't always nice. <laughs> I've, had, I've only had really one really bad lawsuit with someone and that was someone who took my stuff. So, um, and that, that was not nice, but I had so well documented that the attorneys were like, wow, you've got it, you know, you've, you have everything. You say, I, every time I got it in an email, I print thing, I have everything organized in, in chronicle, in chronological order. In fact, now I'm going to start dating all my sketches too at the bottom. There's a little dope date because if you ever have a problem with somebody and, and once you start doing well, you know, there's, there's, there's sometimes, you know, there's, doesn't happen, but at least have everything. You know, you have everything documented. Um, yeah, and it's gotten easier to, actually, it's easier to uh, find people doing that now because of the internet. <laughs> it might be easier to take stuff, but it's also easier to find them, too, you know? So that's another thing. Um, anyway, so um, keeping everything, I keep everything organized in a, in a folder, and then, um, especially when you have five or six jobs going on, it makes it easier to keep track of stuff. The other thing is, if you, I hang stuff up in the, um, I'll hang the project up along the wall so I can see the whole project in process, especially if you're doing like a 32 page book um, or something that's sequential, you know, or if you're doing a comic book, something like that. It's good to see the flow of it all. And if you stand back, sometimes you'll see holes in the design and project, you know, and you're, you've probably heard this in school, turn stuff upside down, turn it sideways, just stand back and just look at it as, as, as a design, not necessarily as a detail, then you'll start to see what's not working right. I think that helps. And then <clears throat> if I'm working on it, no matter what kind of book it is and what genre, I still make a dummy. And um, oh, I have one around here. Uh, oh, I thought I did. Look. There's one. <laughs> um, I, I usually do like a cover, color copy. And this is just mine. I did all my sketches, scan them all into, um, well, before the computers, but now with the computer, I scan them all and print them out on 11 by 17 paper and then paste it all up with YooHoo glue because it's removable. You can pull the pages out really easy. And I cut um, uh, cut all the type out and paste it up and just see if it works as a book as you turn pages. And actually, when you're working with a, an editor uh, on a children's book and somebody else has written it, if you put it in a format like this and you send it to them, and they start to see, oh my gosh, the text does not work, you know, and, um, and that's why it takes two years to get it sorted out because there's so much going back and forth with the design, and um, and I said it takes so much time and it takes a while to get that. You, you can, it, it's helpful to have many many things going on at once. Like you, you know, some um, for me it was doing the comic strip. I was doing that weekly, sometimes monthly, depending on who. The, it, it was syndicated, so it was all over the place. So I had that, you know, deadlines all the time with that. Those were, like, immediate deadlines. And then book deadlines, you know, every couple of weeks there's something going on with those. So between all that, you know, you, you've got a really solid, you know, work, work life, you know. You just have to trust that it will be okay. And learn about business, you guys. <laughs> And, uh, and and you guys probably belong. Well, you you belong. This is the Society of Illustrator chapter, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's like that's incredible. I mean, it's such a great organization, and you get to know everybody who you know, and um, you, the, you know, the, your friends, the people you work with, just about everybody is part of it. So um, it's a nice way to you know, if you go to some of the events and stuff, you get to meet the people that you that you admire. You know, their work. Um, it's it's just it's really it's it's really nice to have that opportunity to do that. Um, yeah, it's been like amazing for me, you know. And I belong to you know Society of Illustrators, which I love Society of Children's Book Illustrators because that really focuses on and they have a real solid um, they do real solid stuff on the business side of it too. They give you step by step for every for members. It, it, it's not expensive, and you don't have to be published to be part of it. Um, and as and writing. Um, some of, there's a few writers groups out there. If you're interested in the writing part too, there's a few writers groups out there that are really, really, really good at 